All right, guys, let's do it. Sneak peek to this Saturday's live stream on Twitch. 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be on twitch.tv forward slash next underscore level underscore painting. We're going to be hitting up this custom war boss on bike converted by my friend Brian Moult. Super fresh. We've been working on it for a couple weeks. Here, what we're doing is taking these DACA cannons that were pinned on and we're doing a quick dry brush of black steel over black real fast not really thinking about it super easy stuff guys now you're not going to want to miss the twitch stream because it's so much more interactive than watching anything i do on youtube full-blown q a and chat giveaways redemptions we've got a digital currency that you could redeem at the end of the month or any point during the month for over 100 msrp and swag we're doing a monthly raffle to get one-on-one -on -one painting sessions with me now what we're doing is the next highlight real quick we're just dry bust on a little bit of bright steel flipping this script we got this banner this is the lucky stick real quick we painted it gray and we're banging out the airbrush here and we're going to highlight the white super fast create a shade i'm gonna do something i haven't shown you guys here before this is why you're not going to want to miss the twitch stream this weekend once you get those whites popping out to the purest of all the pure white we're going to come back in and do a pre-shade now you guys have seen me do pre-shades before, but you never seen me do it with purple. So I'm going to come back in and hit the dark spots with a little bit of royal purple from Vallejo. It's going to speckle a little bit because there's so much contrast over that white. No big deal. I'm going to show you how to fix that here in one second. Just do you know, real, real simple shit. Don't overthink it. Just, hey, this is where the shade should be. This looks fun. Now we're going to mix a little white back in the pot. And then we're going to go for the mid-tone. And they're going to wipe out all the hazy speckling that we just got from that really dark purple. And now you got a nice transition right there real easy shit guys ancient chinese technique this is all technique now what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with yellow flash gets yellow from gw watered down and we're just going to lightly tint everything we just did with the yellow so we're using a complementary color pre-shade to bang out this yellow and you guys are going to see it's a totally different type of yellow i've shown you yellows a million times before with the oranges the golden yellows this is an orchified yellow this is like this is like the the you know no crazy amazing color transitions this is straight up like yellow is dark and yellow is bright love it we're gonna do more to it here in just one second like i said this saturday guys you're not gonna want to miss it that's gonna be tomorrow 2 p.m pacific time on twitch so now look at it that's a fun little yellow right there there was i mean that was easy literally one of the easiest ways to do yellow you know there's other companies that make ghost tints and stuff you can use but uh flash gets yellow is amazing amazing now we're going to go back to the DACA cannons, use a little bit of orange brown. We're going to hit the tips up a little bit. We're going to, you know, give some of that, you know, scoring, some of that, some of that dirtiness. And just because we have the color in our paintbrush, in our airbrush right now, that's the only reason we're, I'm showing you this right now, because what we're really going to do is I'm going to show you some cool exhaust effects. Same orange brown. Let's hit up the exhaust pipes on the custom Orc Warboss on his customized chopper. All these add-ons are totally, totally customized. The power claw, the backpack, literally 100% uh, plastic card and green stuff. So it's important when doing this effect to lay down a solid foundation of this orange brown. This is the first step. You're going to want to pull it back, you know, more than half the length of the pipe you're trying to, to do this uh, heat scoring on. Or this uh, metal bluing that we're going to try to work into it. Now we're going to grab a nice red, scarlet red for me. And we're going to go in to the, from the tip and we're going to blend it into the brown we just laid down. It's a real easy technique, guys. Now, purple. Royal purple. We're going to hit the tip again and blend it a little bit into the red. This is uh, my personalized recipe. I, I, I basically came up with this last year. Uh, looked at a couple of pictures of exhaust pipes and decided these are the major colors in the exhaust pipe bluing. Now we're going to grab Signar Blue from P3. And we're going to bang out some blue on the very tip, blend it a little bit into the purple. We're going to wipe out most of the purple, but some of it will still be there. And now you're seeing we're getting a fun, nice, blued steel effect here. It really adds something to models when you do this. It's really interesting. I love it. Same thing with the exhaust pipes in his backpack. I imagine these exhaust pipes are what powers his amazing orc power claw. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of blue-green from Vallejo, and I'm going to just pop the final tips out. Now, gloss time. I'm gonna gloss coat this yellow Lucky Stick. 
This is all Vallejo airbrush gloss medium. Now that um, we've done all that, we're gonna throw some black back in the airbrush and we're gonna uh, score out the tips of these DACA cannons, give you that true carbon scoring, that true sooty look. Really does a lot to add to a model. Go right back over, the gloss coat is dried. Now we're gonna use a little bit of Agrax Earthshade Gloss Wash from GW over the gloss coat. Give yourself a dirty orc banner. Now we're gonna grab some Vallejo pummy, Pumice uh, Dark Earth and we're gonna add it to the motorcycle. And the reason is, is that we're gonna come back and we're gonna dry brush it the exact same color that the base is. So it has a nice textured dirt effect. We're not gonna let it ride like this. I don't believe in unpainted elements, unpainted models. Another simple effect. Not gonna wanna miss it guys. Remember, Saturday, 2 p.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv.